I like to point out the oddities that come up when you apply logic to the whole idea of death and afterlife, heaven and hell. If someone has sinned, they should be murdered, they should be killed, and then they will go to hell. Wouldn't it be better to let them live, maybe encourage them to sin some more, seeing as how there are layers of hell, detailed with great precision by a man who probably wrote it using only one hand at the time, if you know what I mean, so that they could go to a deeper layer, so that they could suffer more pain. Or is it really that people who want sinners to die as soon as possible don't really believe in hell deep down? I apologize for all the swearing I'm doing in this video, but that happens when you talk about the afterlife and go into specifics. Hell yes. Now, heaven on the other hand, wouldn't it be preferable for a good man to die as soon as possible, at as young an age as possible, because he's, he will have had less chance to sin. If you believe in purgatory, he will spend less time there, because the idea of purgatory is that the longer you live, the more, you, the more chances for sin, and the longer you will spend in purgatory. And then once again, the good man prefers to live a long life on this otherwise miserable earth. He isn't that eager to go to heaven to join God and Jesus, interestingly enough. And it is maybe worth noting that the idea of the younger you die, the quicker you will get to heaven, led to the Child Crusades, which, if you don't know, was literally a crusade where you sent, where they sent children to fight the Muslims. Yes, that actually happened. Finally, I just want to point out, doesn't heaven sound like it was thought up by a bunch of stoned hippies? Think about it.